Let's talk about exporting animations. There are a few ways you can go about exporting inside of Moho. If we go to File, you can see right down here, we can Export Animation, Export with Previous Settings, Moho Exporter, and then Export. So what will happen here is if you choose to export animation, you'll be brought to a new panel, which will allow you to choose the file format and other details pertaining to the file you wish to export as a video, image sequence, whatever you want. Then you have export with previous settings, which if you were to export this out, you could then choose to just export out another scene using the same exact settings as before, which can save you some time. Let's say you're working on an animated series. You know that every single scene is going to be rendered the same. You could just go ahead and do that. The Moho exporter is more for batch processing. So if let's say you have multiple scenes or you want to render out multiple layer comps, multiple layers from one scene, Moho exporter is great for that. Then you have export, which allows you to export out to different file formats. So FBX, if you have a certain style you want to share with another Moho user, you can do that. You can choose to export your frames to vectors. We can do OBJ. So Yes, you can actually design 3D objects in Moho. You could export out your design as an OBJ and bring it into something like Blender and start animating there. There are a lot of options there. But our main focus right now is going to be exporting your animation. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that. Now here you have the ability to first adjust the start and end frames of the animation. We talked about this before, where in the project settings, you can adjust the duration. This is what that's going to go off of. It's set to 240. You can increase it or decrease it. If you choose entire animation, it's going to go based off of what you have set up on your timeline. And that's at 240. So that's going to be considered the entire animation. But of course, you can adjust this if you wish. There is the output setting. So the format is currently set to video. And under preset, you can choose different video options. So MP4, .mov, AVI, and so on. But let's say we choose image sequence, you now have different presets. So you can choose to export out the scene as a bunch of PNGs, JPEGs, BMPs, whatever you want to do. And then you have your render options, and these can adjust the quality of your animation as well as increase or decrease render times depending on what you apply or take out. And I'll just go over some of these really quick. You can enable multi-threaded rendering. So if your computer has the ability to go faster with multi-threads, it can do that. You can choose to render at half dimensions or frame rate, which can be useful if you want to create a test and don't want to spend as much time rendering. You just kind of want to get an idea. That might be a good way to go about it. You can apply shape effects or layer effects. So the gradients, the blur effects, you can choose if you want to render those out. You can reduce your particles if you have particles going. Anti-aliased edges, again, is a technique used to smooth things out with your line work. However, you can turn that off if you don't like the effect. Same with extra smooth images. You can choose if you want your alpha channel applied. If you want NTSC safe colors, maybe you're planning to broadcast this. You can choose if you want to render muted channels. So let's say you mute some channels on your timeline. You can choose if you want those included or not. So there are quite a few options there to look over. And typically, you might just leave these as is if you want something of a higher quality. Beyond that, you'll probably be adjusting it to do some tests. And then finally down here, we have the destination. So you can choose where you want to put your file that you're exporting out. So you can see here, we could just put it inside, let's say, tutorials. And we can choose the name of it as well. And once you're good, you can go ahead and click OK. And this will bring up the render screen, as you can see. And it's going to go through and just render this out. And this can take some time depending on how you've rendered it out. In this case, I chose multiple images. So it's exporting out each frame as an image. And that might seem a little bit odd if you're new to all this, but it can actually be quite useful to export out a character or an animation as individual images with a transparent background because then you have more flexibility when it comes to, let's say, editing inside of something like After Effects or Premiere or 
any other outside editing software that you can think of. But as you can see here, it's just rendering out what I have done here. And once it has completed its render, it'll either show it to you as a video, in this case it's not, or it'll bring up, as it will for me here, the folder in which I exported this out to. So you can see right here that all the images have been exported out. I probably should have put them in a little folder here, but I just threw them into this main folder really quick. But you can see it indeed did go through and export everything out. And that is a little bit about exporting inside of Moho. It's a pretty straightforward process once you have all your settings figured out.